Hello Internet. I do so dearly love you so. I cannot help but love each and every one of you in a way that words cannot describe. Words can describe how I uh, feel about you, Internet. Um, so I went to the Parkdale Library and I checked out this file and <laughs> People, people laugh at me about it. They, they say, oh, you're playing a violin. You must be some kind of musical genius. They make fun of me. They make fun of musical geniuses these days, I find. These days when you're a musical genius, which I am, they make fun of you. And, uh... Maybe you're a musical genius too. Maybe you want to say to me, uh, hey, I'm a musical genius. I know how you feel. They make fun of me for being a musical genius. And um, so the thing about being a musical genius is you've got to tune your instrument. Tune it. Tune it. Tune it. Tune it. Tuna. Oh shit, what just happened? Okay, I just, like, that's not even fair, man. How do I, it's too dark. Okay. So, I just watched Batman Returns with Michelle Pfeiffer as Catwoman. I'm like, I found that that was made in like 1992 or whatever, and I was born in 1984, and when I was a boy watching Batman Returns, I liked the first Batman and I liked the second Batman, and I would watch the Batman and I thought, thought gee, the Catwoman's an attractive woman. But I can't let anyone know I'm attracted to Catwoman. Um, so. And all this said, all this stuff, all this, you know, you can call, you, you can call me egotistical. You can call me um, half a star short of a total star story. <laughs> You can call me like, um, you can call me Mr. Sunday Dinner at the parking lot, which I don't even know what that means. I don't know why my brain told me to say those words. I don't know what the words mean. You just have to trust me on that, okay? I don't know what language is. I don't have human thoughts. No, I I am human. Don't don't tell me I'm not human. No, I'm not drunk. I'm not drunk. So, like. You have this thing where it's like, you just go through these, you go through these, like, stages in your life when you're like, okay, so I have a tuna, and, and I go like, So then I make this screw it all tighter. This screw it all tighter. Oh my god, I got it perfectly on. Okay. This screw it all tighter. This 
Let's screw it all tighter. 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 Oh my god! It's all messed there. That's just got to get looser. It's already pretty loose. So we put down the bow. Let's see. It's all about the Benjamins. Okay. This has to tighten up. This has to loosen up. It's not in tune that the artist who did the soundtrack to Batman 1 um, would tune.
so that's what the violin is. It's an expression of my deepest emotional pain. The, the suffering that I endure uh, on a day-to-day -day basis uh, uh, from uh, being uh, cast out of society, uh, left by the wayside, and um, this was made, this bow was made in Korea, that's a fun fact, if you want to know facts about uh, knowledge, this bow was made in Korea, and um, so there you go, and then you go like that, I mean, it's like, you can't just go to a McDonald's restaurant and order a Burger King sandwich. It doesn't work that way. It's never worked that way. It's never gonna work that way. They had uh, the, the McSpecial or something, the special sandwich that was like a Whopper, but it was, it wasn't a Whopper. It had something to do with sandwiches. Um, it was a hamburger, and hamburgers don't have um, feelings, really. Like, even if you're a vegetarian, you have to admit, the cow that made the hamburger is dead, and it doesn't have supernatural intelligence over your brain. But I know some, I, and I would agree with vegetarians that say, I know some, and they would say, and they, you know, I know some who would say that <coughs> the supernatural intelligence of a uh, hamburger uh, uh, affects your brain, and that's why you shouldn't eat meat. And um, I, I personally don't subscribe to the notion that supernatural intelligence like the difference between natural intelligence and supernatural. Um, supernatural, uh, some people say things like if it's supernatural, it means it's not of the natural world, it is unnatural. And someone would argue since it's unnatural and not part of the natural world, it's not scientific and it's not real. But other people would argue very, very firmly, they talk to you for like, 55 minutes straight about how supernatural things happen every day and we need to love each other and um, the supernatural world is creeping up on us and um, I, I, I really don't see how um, the supernatural world is anything more like more less less or more but but I don't I don't see how the supernatural world is more deserving of me lighting a cigarette. Because every time I light a cigarette, I extend the life of this planet. You, 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 oh yeah, you're going to say I'm going to get cancer and I'm going to kill myself. But I am undoing the injustice of what humans have done to this earth. And... Um, I suppose that's my violin video, so thank you for your time.